Hi, I'm John Leslie. Favro has quickly become a favorite all-in-one app for teams at startups to unicorns to do collaborative writing, planning, and organization of work. A couple of great examples are Unity, which recently IPO'd, and Garage Beer Company that quickly adapted their business as the coronavirus hit. Here's a brief sample of how they actually improved their business processes while adapting to change. In this Favro collection, you can see both a production schedule and a production pipeline. With new products displayed on an easy to update timeline and moving through a production pipeline all on the same screen. In this video, we'll address the three main startup challenges. How to deal with the massive and constant change inherent to hypergrowth. How to scale without becoming a stale bureaucracy and losing that entrepreneurial spirit, while at the same time embracing the fact that every startup is unique and no team is the same. Let's begin with adapting to the massive change caused by your fast growing teams. Everything is happening fast, including recruiting. New hire recs are opening up faster than there probably are qualified candidates, and the required skills are changing based on shifting goals and priorities. You need to be able to visualize both your recruitment Kanban and those goals and priorities in a single screen collection, as you can see here. Now, unique to Favro, you're able to aggregate these multiple tables that also exist in other collections. As you can see, this recruitment Kanban also exists in an HR collection, and this strategic OKR planning and tracking table also exists in an, in an objectives and key results collection as does the strategic OKR backlog. Speaking of OKRs, objectives and key results are a popular framework for teams to set clear achievable goals with measurable results. The objective, as you can see here in this example, is the overall goal and the key results, as you can see here, track the progress towards that goal. An excellent way to implement OKRs in Favro is to create an OKR backlog on your collections left pane using a sheet board, as we've done here, with the objectives broken down into their supporting key results. The objectives are then stack ranked with the highest priority key results being committed to a planning and tracking board on the collections right pane, as you can see here. As progress towards key results is made, the cards representing the KRs are pulled from left to right along the team's custom measurement scale. This progress can be seen both on the OKR planning board and in aggregate on the OKR backlog. So for example, being able to take this key result, recruit five new customer success representatives that supports the objective, improve customer satisfaction. We can simply take this card and drag it and drop it and commit it to the strategic OKR planning and tracking table. Now the cards can exist in multiple places as well. So as I move this from selected to 20%, we can see that it's also reflected here back in the backlog. So as new hires continue to come in, those new customer success hires up here in the recruitment Kanban, this key result recruit five new customer success representatives can also be updated, dragging through from 40 to 60, all the way through to eventually 100% complete. So you can see the power of being able to have multiple tables, maybe from other collections, all in a single screen Favro collection, allowing you to quickly both visualize and adapt to changing goals and priorities. Furthermore, to help simplify the complexity that comes with change and growth, all Favro boards can be viewed in multiple ways. For example, if we switch to this product development teams collection and look at their board, we can see that for the product development team, they may want to look at the things, the cards on the board in a Kanban view, as you see here. Whereas maybe somebody from finance would want to look at this team's board in a sheets view, visualizing things like budget and expected ROI, as well as expected business value. 
Whereas somebody from the executive leadership team might want to see things on the timeline view. Again, these are the same cards, just visualized in different ways. Favreau boards also have the ability to create custom views where you can create views, either Kanban sheet, timeline, card list, or charts based on specific filters and show options. Moving on to the second major startup challenge, scaling without losing agility or entrepreneurial culture. Too many tools create silos and unnecessary complexity, often at the expense of flexibility, forcing you to adapt to the tool instead of the other way around. Favreau alone scales with you as you grow. There's no need to introduce enterprise tools for each organizational level. With the Favreau app, you don't need a product portfolio management tool on top of an issue tracker, for example. As a growing startup, you'll most likely work with external partners, for example, a marketing agency. Not only does Favreau bring internal teams closer together, but also allows external teams to collaborate with your internal teams thanks to features like external members and guest users. Here you can see an external marketing agency collection, an external marketing agency board, along with an internal marketing campaign asset backlog. The same marketing campaign asset backlog can be used by both internal and external marketing teams. While these particular assets might be being produced by internal marketing teams, these assets could be feeding the external marketing agency board like so and pulled along from creation to lead review to staged, all the way through to live. Okay, now to show you how this scales vertically, let's take a look at this company roadmap collection. We're going higher up into the startup organization. We have a company roadmap here where we're, we're seeing on a timeline our high level objectives mapped out into the future. We also have that marketing campaign asset backlog already added here. Now we also might want to see at this level of the startup um, exactly what's going on with that external marketing agency. To do that, we just click this plus, say add from another collection, and we can bring in that same live external marketing agency Kanban board that that external marketing agency team is seeing and working on. And look at that same live real-time board here at the company roadmap collection level. Now let's address the third major startup challenge. Your startup is unique and every team within it has a unique way of working. So how can any one tool possibly support both your overall business and each team's specific function and desired workflow, especially as you grow? The answer lies in Favreau's core design. Unlike other tools that handle complexity with an ever-growing feature list and rigid prescriptive workflows, Favreau keeps it simple with only four major building blocks cards, boards, collections, and relations. Let's take a look at Favreau cards. Here's an example of a Favreau card pop-up. To access it, simply click any Favreau card on a Kanban board, sheets view, or timeline view. The card pop-up itself is a real-time collaborative workspace for multiple team members. It can be used in many different ways. Writing, content creation, creating goals, OKRs, tasks, adding attachments, whatever you're collaborating on. Teams can even communicate and provide real-time feedback directly on the card itself, keeping both the feedback and those communications relative to where the work is actually happening. Team members can update existing fields, and if need be, they can add custom fields on the fly of any of these field types. Team members can create and update checklists. The cards themselves are also a full rich text editor. You can add tables, bulleted lists, numbered lists. You can create attachments to external documents. You can also attach to other Favro cards and boards to represent a relation or maybe a dependency. Maybe for example, I have a dependency on this other team for this iPhone app card. I can see here that my team member Jack is currently working on this section of the card. And here's an example of an image attachment and all of the image formatting options. Cards alone end up replacing tools like Google Docs, Dropbox, Notion, Confluence, Evernote, the list goes on. 
Now let's take a look at the second Favreau building block, Favreau boards. The work described in a card often involves multiple teams with their own workflows. Therefore, a card can exist on multiple Favreau boards facilitating cross-team collaboration. Boards can easily be configured by the team members themselves to adapt to any style of planning and management. So an example of a card existing on multiple boards, say this Slack integration feature card exists in this product team backlog. It can be committed to this team's workflow board simply by dragging and dropping. It now exists in two places, the backlog and the team board. As this is pulled through to the various different stages, you can see things like auto tagging happening all the way through to eventually done and feature ready for release. Now that the feature is ready for, for release from a product development standpoint, marketing might need to be informed so they can produce the marketing, advertising this feature, letting the customer base know about this feature. Simply drag and drop the card down to the marketing team's board to their to-do column where they will pull this card through their own workflow like so. Now this card exists in three different places. The product development team's board, the marketing team's board, and also still in the backlog where it originated. If I scroll through here to what are called Favreau relations, which we're going to get to in a minute, I can see directly from the backlog that from a product development standpoint, Slack integration is done. And from a marketing team's perspective, it's currently in review. As we've already seen, each board has multiple views of the same cards, Kanban, Sheet, and Timeline, which typically makes the need for numerous tools such as Asana, Rike, Monday, ClickUp, Trello, Jira, and Airtable completely redundant. Now on to the third Favreau building block, which are collections. As you've seen, Favreau boards can exist in multiple Favreau collections. Collections are simply a single screen aggregation of multiple boards organized for teams to see exactly what they need to focus on, their own work, and also collaborations with other teams to deliver the most company-wide value. As you can see here, these are all various collections. Company roadmap, team level collections, department collections. You can even have collections with external partners. There's also the concept of dashboard collections as we see here in this startup dashboard. Here we're pulling in both backlog boards and workflow boards from multiple teams and departments. For example, we can see this executive backlog with business enablers that are driving the entire business. We can also see team level backlogs such as this product development teams backlog. an IT project backlog, and a marketing backlog. We can also see the various boards, seen as timelines, as Kanban boards, and sheets. Here, for example, we have a company roadmap as a timeline. We have a product development team board, an IT projects board, a sales CRM pipeline, a marketing roadmap, also seen as a timeline, and an external marketing agency's Kanban board. Collections drive overall alignment, removing the requirement for complex program and portfolio tools such as Jira Align, AHA, Workfront, and PlanView. Last, but certainly not least, is the fourth Favreau building block, which is relations. With the ability to have cards on multiple boards, and boards within multiple collections, as well as links, dependencies, and work breakdowns, Favreau relations are what tie it all together. Relations show everyone how your company actually interacts and provide natural navigation between all horizontal teams and all vertical levels of the organization. As you can see here on this Slack integration card, these relations at the top of the card show everywhere that this particular card exists. So for example, we can see that this Slack integration is currently at the review stage on the marketing Kanban board, which exists in the marketing collection. It's also targeted for quarter one on the marketing roadmap, which exists in both the marketing collection and the startup roadmap. It's currently in progress on the product development team board in the product development team collection and also 
existing in the startup dashboard where we are now. And this card originated in the product team one backlog, which also exists in the product development one collection and the startup dashboard. You can click any one of these links to go to the card in that particular location. You can archive the card there. You can delete the card there. You can also change the particular Kanban stage for that card on that particular board. So that's relations, and now you've seen all four of the Fabro building blocks. These four building blocks can be combined in infinite ways to create a scalable collaboration and planning platform that is as unique as your startup and your teams. Master the radical change inherent to rapid growth, keep your entrepreneurial spirit alive, and become the most agile startup to unicorn with Fabro.